not gonna lie, I'm pretty freaking excited about today's video. This is the first video of a new series I'm starting on my channel called Hungry, Healthy, Happy. And I've just been inspired by my life because I've noticed when I'm hungry and I eat healthy, it just leads to a happier, more wholesome life. Every season, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite recipes that are inspired by that season. And you never know, I may post more than one because sometimes I just have a ton of recipes and I just want to share them. I have three recipes to show you guys today. The first one is great for mornings. The second one can be used for lunch or dinner. And then we get to the good stuff, the sweet treat. Because let's be real, people. I gotta have my sweet fix at the end of the day, and I love me some chocolate. So I got all you sweet tooth people out there covered. Don't you worry, I got you. Let's do this thing. First up, we're gonna be making my Green Dream Power Smoothie. And this is perfect for mornings when you're in a rush or if you just need to pick me up throughout the day. To make this smoothie, you're gonna need some protein powder. And my current favorite is from Vega. It is the Tropical Tango Protein Smoothie Powder. This stuff tastes so good. It doesn't have any added sugar in it and it's all plant-based. So when you read that label on the back, you're not gonna find any weird chemicals in this stuff whatsoever. And to make this smoothie nice and green, we're going to be using some organic baby spinach. Some chia seeds, which are a great way to add fiber and omega-3s into your diet. Then you're going to need some 100% pure coconut water. And I know this says coconut juice, but juice, water, it's really all the same thing when we're talking about the coconut. And for fruit, you're going to need about a cup to a cup and a half of frozen fruit. So I have a mixture of pineapple, mango, and strawberries here. And last Last but not least, we have Mr. Banana. I start off by making this smoothie by taking about a handful or so of the spinach and just putting that into the container for my Nutribullet. And then I take the frozen fruit, pile that on top, and make sure you use fruit that has been frozen so your smoothie has a nice texture to it. Then I just throw in about half of that fresh banana onto the top, and then I pour in about a cup of coconut water to really smooth everything out. Next, I use a little less than a full scoop of that Vega protein smoothie powder. I pour that in and then I take a spoonful of the chia seeds, dump that in, and we're good to go. Now it's time to just seal everything up so it doesn't go flying everywhere and then it all gets mixed together. And you're gonna notice that as the smoothie blends, it slowly changes color from like pink to a lighter yellow color to green and then it gets really green, which is so cool to watch. You wanna make sure everything is thoroughly blended so you don't have any weird chunks in your smoothie, and then once you're finished with that, you can pour it into your serving cup of choice. I love me some mason jars, so that's what I'm going with. And then you stick it in a straw, slurp it all up, and let me tell ya, you would never know that there are veggies in this. It's super fruity and tasty, but also really good for you. One recipe down, and now we're moving on to the next. This is my spring pasta salad, and it's perfect for lunch or dinner. It's very light and refreshing, but packed full of flavor and color. The first thing you're gonna need is some fully cooked frozen shrimp. So you don't have to cook these at all, you just have to defrost them, and they taste fantastic. Next, I have some organic brown rice spiral pasta, and I really recommend going with brown rice pasta. It tastes awesome, and it's a great healthy alternative to regular pasta. Then I have a bottle of Annie's green garlic dressing, and this is essentially a blend of lemon juice, spinach, and garlic, and it tastes super good. For veggies, I have some fresh asparagus and grape tomatoes, and then to finish everything off, a little bit of feta cheese. So I'm just starting off by heating up some water. I have one pan for the asparagus, and then a pot for the pasta. So we're just gonna bring all of the water to a nice boil. Now you can either defrost the shrimp overnight in the fridge, or you can do what I'm doing here. You can take them straight out of the freezer and then just rinse them underneath some cold water for a few minutes and that totally defrosts them. Now it's time to remove the tails from the shrimp. So here's what I do. I take a piece and I pinch the very end and you'll see that the shrimp just comes right out and you're not wasting any of the meat. So I just continue to do this to all of the little shrimpy guys in the bowl. And this is just my preference. You don't have to remove the tails. I just prefer to do this. How long 
Now that the water has come to a boil, I'm just gonna pour in the pasta. I'm not using the entire bag, just filling up the pot. And then I'm going to add my asparagus to the other pan. Place a lid over the top and let that steam for about five-ish minutes. While magic is happening on the stove top, I'm gonna move over to my grape tomatoes and I'm simply just gonna be cutting these guys in half. And if you wanna use other vegetables, you totally can. You could use like broccoli instead. You can really tailor this to your own taste. And then I just like to sprinkle the tomatoes with a little bit of salt to bring out their sweetness. When your asparagus is done, it's gonna be bright green and tender. So I'm just gonna drain it and then transfer that into a bowl with the shrimp. On top of that, I'm dumping in those tomatoes and the drained pasta. Then I'm gonna grab my dressing, give it a quick shake, and then pour it on top of all of that goodness. And you wanna make sure that you pour the dressing around the outer rim so it can get down to the bottom and doesn't just stick to the stuff on top. Then you just wanna get in there and mix it all together. And this is where pouring around the rim really comes in handy because it's gonna make this step so much easier. And to finish everything off, I'm gonna take a little bit of that feta cheese and just sprinkle it over the top. And for a little extra tang, you can also also add in some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And here is our pasta masterpiece. I recommend keeping this in the fridge for a little bit before serving it so it's nice and chilled. And this is great for dinner or lunch, like I said, and it also keeps really well as leftovers. It is time for dessert, and we're gonna be making my chocolate peanut butter avocado pudding. This is a great, healthier way to really satisfy your sweet tooth. Obviously, we're gonna need some avocados, so I have two of them here, and I know it sounds weird, avocados and pudding, but just trust me, guys, trust. Oh, and look who we have here. The chia seeds are back to play again. I also have some coconut oil, some cocoa powder, and you wanna make sure you have 100% pure cocoa powder and not any kind of mixture with weird chemicals, preservatives, or sugar. Then I have some raw organic honey, and again, you wanna check that ingredients list and make sure that this is pure honey and there hasn't been anything added to it. And last, some vanilla extract. I'm going to take one third of a cup of the cocoa powder and put it into my Nutribullet container. And then I'm going to add a third of a cup of honey over the top. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of chia seeds, and three tablespoons of coconut oil. Now it's time to get into the avocados. So I just slice mine in half and I go all the way around so then you can twist apart the two pieces. You stick your knife in, pull out the pit, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other avocado. To get the meat of the avocado, I just take a spoon and scoop it all out and you wanna make sure that you're using ripe avocados for this. So when you go to the store, make sure that they're soft to the touch. Not too hard, but not super squishy either. They're gonna taste the best and be the easiest to use. Secure everything in your mixer and then just start blending away and you may need to stop the blender to mix things with a spoon that's totally okay because this is a pretty thick mixture and then just spoon it into a little container and what I'm going to do is I actually decided to do this last minute I added a little bit of honey peanut butter so I just heated it up in the microwave and then poured it over the top and then I used a knife to mix it all in so you have like little peanut butter swirls. Once everything is mixed together, just stick this in the fridge for about 30 minutes so everything can set and chill nicely. And then your chocolate pudding will be ready to eat. It's super yummy and I like adding a little bit of fruit on the top just because I think it tastes even better. And that is pretty much it. You see guys, it is so easy to make really great meals that are good for you and they taste good on top of that. So if you guys try out any of these recipes yourself, use the hashtag HungryHealthyHappy and post your photos on Twitter or Instagram and I am going to be picking some of my favorites to show in my favorites video for April. And be sure to check out my last two videos which I will have linked at the end of this one and down below in the information bar. All right, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you later. Bye.